Good morning, Panzers. It's Tuesday. Sorry about the lighting. It's um, a little later in the evening than usual. So apparently Nella has infected me with the uh, fever to talk about books. Topper by Thorne Smith. It's the first of two Topper books. It was made into a movie starring Cary Grant and Constance Bennett as the two ghosts, the Kirbys, George and Marion Kirby. And um, Topper was played by Roland Young. It's a screwball comedy, and if you like screwball comedies, which I do, it's a good one. The book is significantly different from the movie. Um, it's about this man, Topper, um, Cosmo Topper. And Topper is this very conventional person living this very conventional life. He meets up with the Kirbys, who are the ghosts of this extremely unconventional, wild, goofy couple. They basically destroy his life, but it's funny. So I first became acquainted with Topper because of the movie. And this is the first time I've read the book and it was it was fun. It was interesting to like come at it from the other direction. And then I just started rereading Bumbos of the Death Sun uh, by Sharon McCrum, which is a mystery that takes place at a sci-fi convention. I think it was written in 1988. The sci-fi convention is, you know, different from current sci-fi conventions, but in many ways the same. And it's called Bimbos of the Death Sun because the protagonist is a physics teacher, I think? Anyway, he's a college professor of science of some sort. I don't remember what kind exactly. And um, he has written a hardcore science fiction novel. It was published by one of those kind of weird, cheap, sci-fi presses that were putting out a lot of that kind of stuff in the 80s and um, so they gave it this lurid cover and called it Bimbos of the Death Sun which doesn't really um, exactly convey his novel so now he's um, supposed to be doing an author signing and panel and stuff at this sci-fi convention and um, he's having to sort of live down this terrible cover and title for his serious hardcore sci-fi novel. There's a murder at the convention and he sort of gets involved in it. There's a sequel to it called Zombies of the Gene Pool. So that's what I've been reading this week. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, uh, Phoebe is away from the internet again and is gonna be away from the internet for quite a long time at this point. She's um, got a new job working at a camp somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, I, I don't have any details really. So she's without internet again. And then when she leaves there, I think she said in August, she's going straight back to uh, Jubilee in Georgia, where she will, again, not have any internet. I'll be sending her summaries from the channel and everything. And, um, you know, we, we text each other and stuff. So I think that's everything that I was supposed to say this week. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. At least I hope I haven't forgotten anything important. So I will see you guys next week and don't forget to be awesome.